Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a pen from a brand I recently, or well, a while back, reviewed a pen from, and that is this pen, it's Stabilo. This was the Stabilo Flow, which I reviewed. Uh, what I consider to be quite a nice, very affordable, uh, entry-level entry <laughs> pocket carry kind of pen. I've been using this a lot, I enjoy it. Uh, and so when I saw that they had come out with this, I wanted to get one. This is the Stabilo Grow. So I'm going to talk about the parts and features of this pen, uh, and then I'm going to do a writing sample and some pros and cons. So firstly, this is the oak model. It also comes in uh, the cherry, which is like a red burgundy kind of trim as opposed to that green one, uh, and the beech, which has a blue trim, and it's got different kinds of wood. So obviously this has a wood barrel, the Stabilo Grow written there. Now the Grow is Stabilo's most sustainable fountain pen and it is branded as climate neutral uh, and so it's sustainable it's affordable and I think it's actually kind of great you can see if I put the two pens alongside each other they are um, similarly so there's got some definite similarities there like uh, the shape of this uh, end of the the cap there and some of the dimensions are fairly similar I think the length of the pen from tip to tip is you know pretty similar as is the dimension where the cap joins, all that kind of stuff. It is a standard international cartridge converter pen. comes with a cartridge, uh, and it is a snap cap, and it has some interesting features. So let's talk about them. So starting at the very top of the pen, you get the Stabilo logo there uh, on this metal clip, which is very, very flexible. could probably break fairly easy. You can see it here, sort of lifting off its base. Um, it's got this interesting cap which sort of swells a little bit. It's got this little cutout design on the side there and then it travels along. There's no step down onto this bit of plastic uh, here which is uh, I'll get onto in a second um, and then that continues along on this barrel of the pen which has Stabilo Grow uh, written on it there and that carries down into a basic end there. So it's a snap cap pen and has this triangular grip uh, section, um, not so pronounced as say a Lamy Safari or something, and then this uh, small nib there, Lamy style in sort of the shape, uh, but not Lamy compatible and a plastic feed. This comes with a medium, it only comes with a medium. So if you like medium, great. If you don't like medium, great. And it is quite a broad medium actually, I will say that straight up. Um, but it writes reliably, it writes smoothly. As I said, it is a cartridge converter pen. You take that off, unscrew that, and I've got my cartridge there that came in the pen. Um, and I've, you can see I've almost written it, written it dry. Uh, now we'll get in there. Um, I enjoy this pen. I've used it quite a lot. It's been in my pocket for a while uh, and uh, I like it. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let's talk about these materials. So the barrel is 100% FCS certified wood from Germany. So FSC is Forest Stewardship Council, uh, which basically looks after the fact that your uh, forests and the wood you use and it's for paper and all that kind of stuff is all sustainable. I like that a lot. <clears throat> the clip or the cap, sorry, contains um, natural fibers from sunflower seed cases. So it's, I think it's probably mixed with like a resin or something, um, but it's got a nice sort of texture because of that. And it's got an interesting kind of look to it. As you can see, it says Germany uh, on the cap there as well. I should have mentioned that before. Um, the grip section um, is made from 100% bioplastic uh, from waste from the food and paper industries. So once again, a sustainable environmentally sourced basically plastic and I believe that that green there is the same plastic as the uh, as the grip there so um, it's got sustainable elements it's nicely made it's affordable it comes in at about 19 pounds 99 which at the moment is about 40 Australian um, so it puts it in a price point just below things like the Lamy Safari and the Pilot Metropolitan and I don't think it's got quite the same build quality but it's got some interesting features that make it a nice option in in my opinion. So doing a size comparison now, you can see it is a longer pen than the Alami Safari. I've got it here alongside the Stabilo Flow as well, which is a much more all plastic pen as you can see. Um, so yes, it is a long pen. Um, I'll come to the dimensions in just a little bit, but longer than the Alami Safari when it is capped. Uncapped, it still comes in longer there than the Safari, but you can see it's got a similar size kind of nib uh, they're not compatible though, not compatible with the Lamy nibs, different nib altogether.
and then posted it is a long pen. This is not a small pen and I quite like that about it. Uh, it's got sort of a good substantial length and girth to it. So what are the dimensions of the Stabilo Grow? Well, it's 156 millimeters when it is capped. It is 136 when it is uncapped, so it's a good size. 175 when it is posted, so it's a very long pen. And it does post relatively securely, but not always straight, if that makes sense. Uh, the grip section goes from 11 millimeters to about 12 millimeters with that triangular shape. Uh, and the pen weighs 18 grams, 11.5 in the body and 6.5 in the cap. The balance of the pen, it is because it is a fairly light pen, it doesn't, the balance never feels out. It just feels long when it is posted. So I choose to write with this unposted. It is a good length for me like that. So let's do this writing sample now with the Stabilo Grow. This is the oak version uh, with a steel, as they say, iridium tipped, as most pen companies do, which means not a lot, uh, medium nib. Um, and the ink in this is just the uh, Stabilo generic blue cartridge. Now, it's not my favorite blue, it's an erasable blue. Uh, so if you've got one of those ink eraser pens, it will kind of do a little bit of a number on this ink, um, but it's a decent sort of everyday blue, uh, particularly when you think of this as being like a student kind of pen, uh, perhaps, or, uh, you know, sort of like an everyday pocket pen. Let's do some writing. So it writes super, super reliably, like unbelievably reliably. And this is the exact same thing I said about the flow when I reviewed that. It just, they just, like they wrote first time out of the box perfectly. The ink takes seconds to come down when you put the cartridge in, as opposed to like even like a Lamy Safari, which can take minutes. Um, this is, this is great. Quick writing. Not at all legible, but you see it keeps up nicely. In terms of wetness, like, it's actually not too bad. Um, you know, these aren't super gushy pens. They're designed for everyday writing. And as I said, probably, particularly in the case of something like the Flow, for students. And so that nib and feed is designed to be, you know, good for sort of everyday writing and on paper that may not be fountain pen friendly. Reverse writing is very possible. Uh, might dry out after a little bit, but you could put a decent line down. These are not flex nibs. They are stiff, 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 stiff nibs. You just put more ink down. Uh, and so, yeah, super reliable, super consistent, and, uh, you know, I said a fairly broad medium, uh, but not too bad, really. So what are the pros and cons? Let's start with the cons. I have really only two things to say. Firstly, or three maybe, two and a half. Firstly, I'm just, I'll just say the build quality and the materials used here, I, I like wood and I like wood pens. I've started to add a few to my collection, um, but with these bioplastics and things, um, we don't know about the durability over time, um, whether they wear, like I've been using this pen for a few weeks, uh, but over, you know, is it going to be a pen that lasts in the same way that like an ABS plastic pen will last? I don't know. Um, that's yet to be seen. So I'm not, I'm not, I haven't bought this pen with a view for it to be like, you know, handed down generation to generation. I've basically got it because I think it's an, it's a nice pen to use for sort of like pocket carry and to just chuck in my pencil case and things like that. It's durable in that way. Um, other things I don't love <clears throat> are the grip section, that triangular grip, not my favorite, not necessarily perfect for how I write, but I can do it. Um, so if you prefer round grip sections, this isn't gonna be the pen for you. It's not as pronounced as, you know, the Lamy Safari with those deep indents uh, on the grip section there, but you definitely do feel it as triangular. Another con for me personally is the fact that uh, the branding is printed this way. Now, I'm just gonna grab the flow again, because this is one that I, you know, it's got Stavolo flow on both sides of the barrel, which means that me, uh, as a left-handed writer, I can orient the pen and still see 
uh, the branding up the right way. Not a deal breaker, not an important thing. And of course, a right-handed writer would feel them the right way in their hand as well. Now with the Grow, we only get the branding on one side, which means for the right-handed writer, you can orient it in a way and by screwing the barrel in the, you know, however you do, um, to be able to re be read by you. As a left-handed writer, I either get nothing or I get it upside down. Not necessarily a deal breaker, just something that like, I liked about the flow that the Grow doesn't have. Okay, pros, lots to say here. Firstly, um, I'm gonna start with the price. At 20 pounds, I think this is a lovely writing pen. I think it's very basic and it's very simple, uh, but with interesting materials and a nib that writes really beautifully. Um, the size, I really, really enjoy the size of this pen. Uh, as I said, I write with this uncapped or unposted, um, and I find it to be very good size in the hand. It's got a long enough grip section that you don't feel those step downs and all that kind of stuff. It's a triangular grip, which is not for everyone, um, but it's got nice girth and weight, and it's very light in the hand. I really like how reliable that nib is. As I said, it writes first time every time. It writes quite a broad medium line, which I like. Uh, it's generous, it's got sort of, you know, as I said, it's consistent, it's reliable, there's no hard starts, there's no skipping. They've done everything right. And I said that was the same with the Stavolo Flow. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that's great. This isn't a brand that makes, you know, high-end fountain pens. These are, you know, blister pack or like a little cardboard box from your local stationery store. I, I happen to get this from Colt Pens, um, you know, and that's, gr and I've really enjoyed it and I'm like really glad I got it. Um, the other thing I love about this is that it is sustainable, as I said. It is a climate neutral fountain pen. It's Sablo's most sustainable fountain pen. Uh, it's made from, you know, uh, certified uh, wood um, and from, you know, plastics and bioplastics that are uh, sustainably made. More brands can look into this. Um, less plastic in the world is probably a good thing. Once I have finished with this cartridge, I will clean it and reuse it um, because that is what I do with a lot of these pens. I don't bother buying converters for all of my pens. Um, I just find that, um, you know, like who needs that many converters um, when you can easily fill a, a cartridge using a blunt art syringe or something. So easy to do uh, and uh, you're reusing. And because that cartridge came with the pen, I feel better about using that. Um, so yeah, this was the Stabilo Grow fountain pen. I hope you found it interesting and useful. Um, please like and subscribe, all that stuff. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, let me know. If there's a way you'd like to support the channel, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, however sustainable they are, and I'll talk to you soon.